I need to defeat Sabito. But no matter how many times we fight... <sighs> Why? Where did I go wrong? How did things turn out this way? I was just living my life day by day. Doing honest work with my family. We were poor. But we had a nice meal in town once in a while. We... were so happy. Whenever happiness is destroyed, you'll find the smell of blood in the air. That awful day. The one night I didn't come home. Mom... My siblings... They all died. They were attacked by a demon. And that was it. It must have been painful. You suffered, didn't you? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I... I'm sorry. But you're suffering too, aren't you, Tanjiro? Get up. You don't need to suffer alone. I'm here too. Together, you and I can overcome this sadness. Don't you think? That's right. I can't forget that we still have each other. Nesuko. That night, your humanity was torn away from you. But you still managed to hold on to one important thing. Your own life. Sabito's right. Go forward. There's nowhere else to go! I'll find a way to make Nezuko human again. I'll avenge my whole family! I... Made my decision when I picked up the sword! Now! Tanjiro! Finally, you've grown into a real man. <coughs> if I gave up now, Nezuko would never go back to normal. Besides, Orokodaki has done so much for me. And I can't waste Makomo's training! Today's the day. I will defeat you! Let's go! Now, show me what you can do! I have to use that. This blood flowing through your body. Soon, we'll know how strong you truly are. Will you fall to the ground once again, or will you finally come out on top? It's time to finish this, Tanjiro! He's doing it, in that case. Total concentration! Water breathing! Fourth form! Striking time! Throw it out on me quick. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Wait. No. Tanjiro is... There! The opening thread! Faster! Winning, Tanjiro. You must defeat him.
E. <gasps> The boulder. Hey, we can share play this, man. Eh? I'm pretty sure. Where are Sabito and Makomo? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think you would actually do it. Hmm. To be honest. I never had any intention of sending you to final selection. I couldn't bear to see any more children die. I was sure you wouldn't be able to cut through this boulder, but... Well done, my boy. Truly remarkable. I am proud, you know. Make sure you come back alive from final selection. Your sister and I will be waiting for you. Within the blaze burns a young man's determination, and with this in his heart, he walks the path of a demon slayer. Hmm. So it's just gonna be all story mode from here unless I just stop mad somebody, huh? Is that all that is a story mode? No like It's just a video. Oh, you gotta keep moving forward. Huh. Done. Hmm, looks good. Thanks. Dinner's almost done. Clean up and come eat. Oh, thank you. I I'm sorry, I could have made the food. It's nothing. It's the least I could do. I'm about to feed you to a demon. <sighs> thank you for the meal. The time has come. Right. 
Final selection is at Mount Fujikasane. I've been there a few times. I can understand times, now. The demon's his son. Place. And he How keeps so? fattening up his students to it feed him too. You'll have to see for yourself. Yeah. I'm That's sure it'll on. surprise you too. I see. This'll know that you're fat and ready to be eaten. What's this? Yep. That's it. It is called a warding mask. It is enchanted with a protection spell to mm -hmm. keep you from harm. Take it with you. Got it. Thank you. The demon I know is from DoorDash. This is all that I can do for you now. The rest is up to you, Tanjiro. Make sure you are well rested. Hope you're well rested for tomorrow when the demon eats your face. I think that's probably like the best invention in the 21st century for most women. I don't know how most women feel about that, but I think it would help out, I out a lot. I still don't know why Tomioka didn't slay Nezuko, or why he told me about her Okodaki. Just some bamboo with a string on it. thanks to him that we're here now. If I join the Demon Slayer Corps, I'm bound to learn more about demons. You know... They can't open their mouth or run their mouth. I mean, seems like my best shot helps out a lot, though. Turn Nezuko back into a human. But to do that, first I have to pass final selection. Nezuko. She's been sleeping since we got to Urokodaki's place. The doctor didn't find anything wrong with her. But it's not normal for her to be asleep this long. I'm worried she'll just never wake up. You're gonna be okay. Right, Nezuko? I'm going to go out for a bit, but I'll be back soon, all right? Be a good girl now. Eat everybody in the village while I'm gone. Don't uh, worry about your sister. I'll take good care of her for you. Yeah, maybe Thanks we're... for everything. You have a keen nose like me. I'm gonna train that bitch. <laughs> Perhaps it will be the key to your survival during final selection. My nose? You must sharpen your sense of smell and sniff out the dangers around you. I know you can do it. Just be sure to come back alive. Right. Guess I'm off. See you later. Don't worry, your sister's gonna act right when you come back. No, not this. It's gonna make my brain hurt. What's this? Okay. Say hi to Sabito and Makomo. Tanjiro, that's impossible. How do you know the names of the dead? He's a soul reaper. Ichigo Kuwasaki. Get so goddamn chow. Oh, the scenery. So this is Mount Fujikasane. Wisteria? 
It's all over the place. I thought it was out of season. So many people. Just as good as the anime. I want to talk to these people. Not really. Should I? I don't know. I might. Good evening. Good evening. Tonight you've come to enter the Demon Slayer Corps' final selection. Thank you all for being here. Here on Mount Fujikasane, there are several demons that have been captured by Demon Slayer swordsmen. They're kept here for this event. The Wisteria Blossoms prevent them from escaping. They bloom on this mountain year-round, covering everything from the base to halfway up the top. But the Wisteria ends here. Demons abound from this point on. And they're very hungry. In order to complete final selection, you must survive for seven days beyond the Wisteria's protection. Now, your trial begins. Everybody walking okay. off? There are demons waiting from this point on. Take the right path. Don't go left. I ain't gonna went left, didn't I? There are demons lurking here. Don't be afraid. Just keep moving forward. The entrance of the mountain was covered in wisteria. It was beautiful and completely different from here. What a strange place. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Sense coming from all directions now. Fear, adrenaline, and demons. <laughs> Haven't tasted human flesh in forever! Two already. Will I be able to take them on? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Another one! 
Invincible in that move, huh? Let's try that again. Stay focused. Oh, I thought I cowed him. <laughs> oh, I'm I can smell it. The opening threat. So this killed him. I was trying to do stuff though. I got a C rank for it though. Should have just killed him. I did it. I killed demons. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. So my training wasn't for nothing. I did master it. Rest in peace. All right. Time to move on. I can't go any further. I'll have to find a different way. Excuse me. <sighs> what the? What's that awful smell? Is that... Uh, what? Excuse me. What? Uh -huh. I can't go any further. I'll have to find a different way. I wonder if there's a path up here I can climb. I gotta use that back there or something? Well, I talked to you. I didn't go this way though. Okay.
Looks like there'd be a way to get up there, but... Where? So I gotta go talk to that guy over there. Hmm. I just wanna fight. Okay, so hang it right. Let's see. Yep, keep going that way. All I have to do is remember my training. How's that? No way! That was nothing. Let's try. Wow. It wouldn't come out. Wonder why. Don't know why. Hey, are you okay? What? What the hell was that? Was it a demon? He doesn't look too badly hurt. Some weirdo came out of nowhere and attacked me. He was shouting about something, but I couldn't tell what. He's right. There's a strange smell in the air. It isn't a demon. It smells similar to a human, but also like an animal? It's a gorilla. What the? Borash! Borash! <laughs> what? That man with the strange scent is somewhere on this mountain. Gotta stay alert. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
I smell blood. Here it comes! Sound, I'll be right back. Another participant? He seems awfully nervous about something. was just the wind. There are so many kinds of people here. Okay. This tree was knocked over. I can use this. Okay. Move <laughs> running for his life. On up. The demon's scent is growing stronger. Is this the way I was looking? Yes, so. Uh... My heart's beating faster. The pressure around here must be getting heavier. Don't lose focus. Concentrate. Come on, get a grip, Tanjiro. Huh? 
Can't jump off, huh? Gotta run. What the? I can smell blood up ahead. I wonder what happened. These handprints are so big. Their hand All the feet. trees around here have been knocked over too. Hand feet. Huh? Smells getting stronger. I must be getting close. Must be getting closer. One of my sweet little fox cubs. Mm -hmm. It's your longest. Yes. Fat and jewel. Say, fox cub. What year of the Meiji era is it? Huh? It's the Taisho period. Taisho? <gasps> Already? We have passed into a new period? And still, I'm stuck inside this Wisteria prison! Ah, unforgivable! Unforgivable! Damn you, Urokodaki! Damn you, damn you, damn you! You know Urokodaki? Of course I do! Urokodaki's the one who captured and brought oh. me here! <laughs> I promised myself I'd kill every single one of them. You know, the ones who stood out to me the most were those two. The boy's hair was an unusual shade of pink, a scar by his mouth. He was the most powerful of the lot. The other was a girl who wore a flowery kimono. Oh, we got me. Small, not much power, but awfully agile. Could it be? Those two were killed by this demon? But hey, I trained with Oh, them. they hit me, wow. You're mad. That's what gives you away as one of Uro Kodaki's brass. Easy to spot the texture of one of the masks he's carved. He calls them warding masks, right? Except that's how I pick out who to eat. They're all inside my belly. It's as if he guided them to their deaths. Uh -huh. <laughs> my trap? When I told the girl, she started crying and fell into a right rage. <laughs> They killed Sabito and Makomo! Oh, I forgot. There's nothing when you're red. He's the one who trapped me in here. No! What you've done is unforgivable! No, you don't. <laughs> Such <laughs> incredible power! <laughs> can do this! I will not yield! What? How? This isn't just for Sabito and Makomo. I'm going to avenge it. I'm about to say. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, crap. There. Not good enough. Ooh. 
Yes, sir. I got smacked. About to get eight. You know what, Mega? I'll devour you. I didn't even know I had it in me. Shigeru's voice. I still I can do this. Would have been the end of me. Thank you, Shigeru. I won't be helpless again. <laughs> Struggling won't do you any good. His body's getting bigger. <sighs> Calm down. Relax. Stay strong. Focus on your breathing. Was Uro Kodaki really the one who trained you? You're so much weaker than all the other ones I've eaten. strength I need to survive and that's why I won't lose not to this demon oh man let's try that again got you no way. oh no not... way Oh, that was too Let's far off to that side. Oh crap. That was nothing. Oh crap. Let's try that again. Here it comes. Right, left. Is he trying to confuse me? The small ones are always so hard to deal with, running around like chickens with their heads cut off. But it's no use. I'm bigger and stronger than you'll ever be. My neck is as thick as a tree. <laughs> Poor little fox. I wonder how I should devour you. Oh, crap. Can't get out of that. Again. No, you don't. Come on! 
Am I dead now? I guess so. I'm sucking at it. How did he know? I didn't know. No matter. He won't be able to dodge an attack. I won't. He deflected it. Total concentration. Water breathing. Not to worry. My neck is tough. He can't cut through it. First form. I did terrible. Water surface flash. I did terrible. Got a C rank. Oh god. No! No, no! My body's falling apart! No, it's no. disappearing! And I can't stop it! Damn it! I'm afraid to close my eyes! Oh, the face of this demon slayer is the last thing I'm ever going to see! Kick him in the face. What a sad scent. Oh, shit. Please, God, help him. The next time this man is reborn, please don't let him turn into a demon again. Sabito, Makomo, and all others whose lives were taken by this demon, it's over. You can rest now. Finally, you're going home as promised. Back to Mount Sagiri, if only as souls. You're going back. To Uro Kodaki. Only four of us? We started with over twenty. I'm gonna die. I'm done for. I've survived for now, but soon enough, dead. Dead. Welcome, Welcome back, back, everyone. And congratulations. Got some rocks. We are pleased to see you're safe. So? I made it back alive. What do I do now? Where's my sword? Patience. We must first issue you all uniforms. We will first take your measurements, and then you will be imprinted with your rank. There are ten ranks in all, from Kinoe to Mizunoto. You all start at Mizunoto. This is the lowest rank in the Demon Slayer Corps. And our swords? In a moment, you will be given the chance to select the ore that will be used to forge your swords. Your weapons will be ready for you 10 to 15 days later. But first... Now that you're demon slayers, you must each be assigned your own Kasugai Crow. <laughs> the it looks fun so far. Are primarily used to facilitate communication, 
Wait, crows? Isn't this a sparrow? Who the hell cares about some stupid crow? I want my sword right now. Give it to me before I get angry. The color changing katana. I want it now, do you hear me? Stop that! Take your hands off her, or I'll break your arm. Now! Huh? Who the hell are you? Give it your best shot. You let up. Got that man strength. Are you finished chatting with each other? Now, the time has come. Please select an ore to use for your sword. <laughs> Be cool if I can make my the own skill sword. you will use to protect yourself and to annihilate countless demons will be that of your own choosing. I'm gonna be dead soon anyway, probably. They want us to choose, but how are we supposed to know which one to pick? I don't have a damn clue. It's this one right here. It's got the cocaine in it. Really? Five of them were able to survive. That's excellent. The number of my children continues to grow. <laughs> what kinds of swordsmen will they be? I wonder what kind of swordsman they'll be. It's a kind of weird question. They're gonna be shitty. Just when I thought I could finally go back, my body is aching. The fatigue is hitting me all at once. Nesakon, Rokodaki. <sighs> Nezuko, it's you. You're awake. Uh. Nezuko. <sighs> <laughs> Why'd you do that? Why'd you have to sleep for so long? I thought you were never gonna wake up. I was afraid that you were gonna die. You're here. You came back alive. How is this chapter one? I guess these are all movies, that's a story mode, story mode, so that's the newest one right there, huh? So you can watch the movie and the stories and stuff, but it won't let you stream it. Because of copyright infringements. Oh! Uh, 
Hi there. My name is Haganezka. I forged Tanjiro Komodo's sword. I am here to deliver it. Oh! I'm Tanjiro Komodo. Come in. In here is a Nichirin sword. I forged it myself. Um, do you want to come in? Have some... The materials for this kind of sword only come from the mountain closest to the sun. Made of scarlet iron sand and scarlet ore. Hey, um, you're welcome to... Unique. They produce steel that can absorb sunlight. Wow, really? Please, come in. You see, Mount Yoko is bathed in sunlight all day. Never a cloud in the sky. No rain means the sunlight can be absorbed without any impurities. Whoa! A clown mask? Did he even hear me? The man still refuses to listen to a word anyone else says. You're a child of brightness, aren't you? Well, isn't that lucky? Uh, my parents' names were Tanjiro and Kie. That's not what I mean. You know how your hair and eyes have a reddish hue to them. When a family that works with fire has a child like you, it's considered lucky. A cause for celebration. Is it really? I had no idea. That means there's a good chance this sword will turn red. Right, Jurokodaki? Yes. Come on. Draw it already. Nichirin swords are also referred to as color-changing katanas. Their color shifts depending on the bearer. Black? That's interesting. Why? Does it mean something bad? Is it unlucky? No, no. It's just something you don't see very often. It's pitch black. I was really hoping I'd get to see a sword turn bright red! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Hey, let go! Stop, please! Ow! How old are you anyway? I'm 37! Damn it! Why? Ah, hey! Please just calm down! Oh. Tanjiro Kamado, I bring you orders! You must go to a town northwest of here! I know, right? You can talk? This is your first assignment as a member of the Demon Slayer Corps. Prepare yourself well. Wait a second. Did it say assignment? In that town to the northwest, young girls are disappearing. Night after night, at least one of them vanishes. This is the Demon Slayer uniform I was provided. It's a perfect fit. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. That uniform is made with a special kind of fiber. It's lightweight, water-resistant, non-flammable. A low-level demon's fangs and talons are incapable of penetrating He's snatching that them all up, huh, Meg? R. Kelly's What's doing. that? <laughs> you plan on traveling with Nezuko, correct? But demons perish when exposed to sunlight. That's why I'm gifting you this box. To carry her during the day. It's built from a very light wood called Cloudy Cedar. 
It's been coated in rock lacquer to reinforce it's been the exterior made out of ganja. and make it more durable, enough to withstand some abuse. Oh. Thanks, Orokodaki. By the way, Tanjiro. Yes. Because he must be smoking and he thinks I'm going to put a demon, a demon on my back. Slayer, there are some things I would like to explain. You should know, there are different kinds of demons. Some demons use a special spell called a blood demon art to give them abilities. You may end up having to face some of them in the near future as well. And fighting against supernatural abilities will be more difficult than anything you've done. However, if you defeat demons and locate their source, you could find the one who turned Nezuko into a demon one day. <sighs> There's only one demon in the entire world that has the kind of blood that can turn a human. Just one. That's it. The first demon there ever was. He's been here for more than a thousand years. He's your target. The one who attacked your family. More importantly, I believe he's also the only one who might know how to turn your sister back into a human. <laughs> that demon's name is... Muzan Kibutsuji. Muzan... Muzan... Kibutsuji... Since he's the only one who can turn humans into demons, that means... He turned Nezuko. Once someone becomes a demon, they'll attack others indiscriminately. Even their own family. They can't resist the urge to satiate their hunger with common sense alone. That's what it means to be a demon. At least, that was what I thought. Until I met Nezuko. There's no question that Nezuko Ever. is a demon. But in spite of that, she's never devoured a human. Nezuko was lying on top of our brother like a shield, protecting him. She hasn't eaten anyone. I've encountered many demons in my lifetime, but never once have I heard of anything like that. The question is, how does she maintain this state? This is only a guess. But I believe Nezuko can recover her strength by sleeping, instead of consuming human flesh as other demons do. Sleeping to recover her strength. Again, this is only a guess. I could be wrong. Since you are the only one at her side, you must continue to observe her. Understand? And one more thing. I don't know if this will be of any comfort or not. But while Nezuko was asleep, I used hypnotic suggestion on her. All humans are your family. Protect your family. The demons are your enemies. If a demon harms a human, never forgive them. That's what I told her. Tanjiro, I understand that you want to protect your sister, but you must keep in mind. Nezuko is a demon now. She's not a delicate flower who needs your protection. Regardless, this will be your first real mission, where you'll face a demon. Yada yada yada. I hope you both. Yada yada yada. I'm yeah yeah yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah yeah yeah. Let's take drug out. Yada 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 yada. I think I'll probably quit here. Well, my here friends, we are. Play some Guilty Gear or something. Nothing seems out of the ordinary, but I am I'm picking sure up a peculiar this. scent. It's faint, but unpleasant. Let's take a look around. Don't talk about it, be about it.
That's me. Huh? Is that? Excuse me? Oh, come on. Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, come on. Hey, listen. Hey. I don't smell anything bad around here. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. smell anything bad around here. Excuse me. Ah. Say, thanks. Excuse me. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. I don't smell anything bad around here. There's Kazumi. Poor thing. He doesn't look good. Well, he was right next to Satoko when she was taken. Taken? That person knows one of the victims. Mr. Kazumi! I want to hear what happened last night. From you. This is where Satoko vanished, but I'm sure you don't believe me. I do believe you. I'm here to help. Now let's see. There's still a faint scent of the demon here. 
But it's uneven. Something's off. Who is this kid anyway? There's definitely a demon lurking in this town. But I need to find out more. Not much time left until sunset. I need to gather more information and track them down before night falls. Excuse me. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm about to quit from here. It's just too much for me. Okay. All right. Peace out. I'm tired.